The natural minor scale. It's essential for you to know what this is to build a solid foundation and understanding of how to play the other minors that are built upon this very basic scale. So today I'm going to teach you about the natural minor scale. And I want to bring your attention to the fact that the sequence of intervals, as we have learned with the major scale, the minor scale has the same concept except they are separated with different intervals. Each of these are notes, and the intervals that separate them can be either whole steps or half steps. And by altering the position of these whole steps and half steps, we can find any natural minor scale. So let's pick a string to start with. We have the electrocello here to show us the different places. Every dot that you see labeled on my electrocello represents a half tone or half step, whichever part of the English speaking world you hail from. I'm going to pick here the G string to demonstrate what a G minor natural form is. So here we go. First finger here on the nut and three fingers as we have learned with our previous lessons. Three fingers represents two half tones, two half steps thus a whole step. So I can measure a whole step with three digits. I can measure a half step with two digits. So I first need to play a note. So then the W represents a whole tone. And then the H represents a half tone. The next is a whole tone. So push my digit here. There's my whole tone. The next is a whole tone index here. Here's my whole tone. Uh, and then I move up once more to a half tone, uh, whole tone, uh, whole tone. Uh, So let's take a look at the different scales we have labeled in our natural minor one octave scales. We have C minor, G minor, D minor, A minor, E minor, B minor, and then F sharp minor. There are similarities in their fingerings, so we'll just quickly go through them. Remember, these are the natural form of each minor scale. Important that you understand that because there are variations that you will learn in the very near future on each of these minor scales. We start here in C minor. Our second finger will play the E flat. The first finger minus one will play the A flat and the second finger will play the B flat. <laughs> Moving to the G minor, B flat is played here, E flat is played here, there is no F sharp, it is an F natural. G minor, two flats, B flat and E flat. The next scale we play is the D minor scale with one flat, the B flat. We then end with A minor, no sharps or flats. 
We start here in the first position. We can either then move to the open A for the last note or shift up to the upper second position, two on the G and then four on the A. Remaining on the D string, the Roman numeral two. Here's an important moment. Each Roman numeral that you see listed in my pedagogy and in many other scores represent a name of a string. So that tells you to remain on the second string, the D string. So here we are, A minor, natural form. E minor will reflect the exact same fingerings, one string over, one, three, four, zero, one, two, slide then two onto the D natural upper second position, dropping the four. This is the E minor one sharp, F sharp. The next two natural minor scales that I would like for you to learn is the B minor and F sharp minor. And they start here in the lower second position, two plus four, zero, shifting the hand back to the first position, one, three, four, and then shifting up to the fourth position, one, three, or going to the A, I'm going to do the shift on the bottom fingerings. B minor, here we go. F sharp minor starts in the exact same location, one string over. F sharp, G sharp, zero, open A, one, three, four, and then shifting to the fourth position, one, three. F sharp minor, three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. And that is how you play natural minor scales up to three sharps and three flats. And if you liked this video, please consider subscribing because that is by far the best way you can help me is by showing YouTube that I'm doing a good job teaching cello lessons. So please subscribe if you enjoy watching my lessons. This free fountain of knowledge is here for you. And all I ask is a simple subscription and notification bell turned on. And of course, leave comments because I do answer them on the regular basis. Another way that you can support my pedagogy and my hard work is by purchasing my scale book, which is available online at the most popular retailer in the world. So check the description. If you would like to pick up a copy of the scale book, I have been teaching each one of these exercises meticulously with detailed explanations and so you will be able to follow along with your scale book and learn the very fundamental basics of assortment of scales of all key signatures that will carry you far in your journey with cello. So I want to thank you once again for watching this long in my video. I wish I could be more exciting, but they're just scales and I think they would really help you out. So learn that natural minor one octave scale up to three sharps and three flats. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.